I have analysis paralysis and it took me a very long time to even sit down and get this video together okay so I'm getting right into it and this video might be over 10 minutes but just bear with me okay because I just want to really tell my story and just how God has blessed me and brought me to um, the world of tech and how I got here to be in front of you guys telling my stories I just want to touch on everything so that Hopefully someone that's watching this video, you know, will be blessed or will receive, you know, some type of word that, you know, this is your sign to get into tech. Really quick, I just want to give you guys like a backstory on me. I already told you my name is Alicia. I go by AC um, or you could just call me technically blessed because yes, I am. But um, a backstory on how I even got into like the tech world. 2020, everybody knows the pandemic hit everybody, you know, hard, right? So I was not excluded from that. So luckily though, I was able to keep my job, but we just migrated to working remote. But nonetheless, I kept my job. You know, God was definitely looking out. My husband and I were able to purchase our first home in August of 2021. And so that was a huge blessing, you know, like that was something that we saved for. I'm just gonna be 100% honest, like the, the pandemic really helped because those stimulus checks, like if you weren't doing anything positive with your stimulus checks, baby, I don't know what you were doing. If you weren't starting a business, if you weren't investing, if you wasn't saving it, you know, towards the down payment on a home, I don't know what you were doing. So we purchased that home August 2021. Now, September 2021, a month after we moved into our home, I lost my job. Yes, I lost my job a month after. <laughs> like, I can't make this up. Like, it's really real, okay? I separated from my job, mutually separated. I'm not even gonna get into the technicalities of that, but I did get a nice severance package um, to leave. That was a blessing because, you know, I'm, I'm out of a job, right? But I still have this money to carry me on and to, you know, to help. I wasn't able to um, apply for unemployment right away because I had the severance package and they weren't gonna give me anything because, you know, it's unemployment. So they're like, you have money, you can live off of that. When you're broke, then come back. And so that's what I did. When I ran out of money, I applied for unemployment. That's what happened. I was living off unemployment. I was door dashing to supplement the income that unemployment wasn't providing. Because if you've never been on unemployment before, you're not getting a whole check. Like they're giving you a percentage of what you were making. And so although I was, you know, definitely thanking God that I had something rather than zero, it was nearly not what I was making before. Honestly speaking, being transparent, like I had to apply for food stamps and that was not something that you want to do. You know what I mean? It wasn't something that we wanted to do. You know, it's like, how do you go from buying a house to now you got to apply for food stamps and apply for, you know, other assistance because now you can't manage the mortgage, right? You're no longer making that money. And so I definitely encourage you guys, if you're not managing your money well, definitely look at some techniques you know, on how you can manage your money well, budget and figure it out because you never know when life's going to throw you a curveball. I did not think that I was going to go from purchasing my first home to months later applying for food stamps. I didn't think that that was going to happen, but it happened. Fast forward, 2022, the entire, the entire year of 2022, my goal was to get to the bag. Like, I'm being completely honest. Like, that's that's all I had on my mind. I was like, I got to make money, and I need to make a lot of it, and I need to make it in a decent amount of time. So my goal at the beginning of 2022 was to figure out how I can make money from home. I'm already working from home. The pandemic done showed us you can make millions from home. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me get on this train. What can I do? And so I tried a lot of different things, you guys. Like, being completely honest... I didn't put my all into it, and I know that's why it didn't turn out. That's one of the reasons why I got into print on demand. So I started a business for that. That didn't work out. Um, I tried to get into like affiliate marketing. I never really got the swing of affiliate marketing during that time. And so it was so many different ventures, you guys, that I literally started and stopped. It didn't go anywhere because, um, number one, because I wasn't putting forth my effort. And then also towards the end of 2022, I realized it was because... I wasn't, I didn't bring God into my journey. It wasn't until I became older and started going through life that um, I grew closer to God. I went through a whole phase. I'm not even going to go into that because this will really be a long video. But there was a lot of things that happened in my life that, you know, I had to realize that that was God that got me out of that. Like a lot of bad things. And so God got me out of that and brought me through. And so in 2022, towards the end, I'm like, okay, you know what? All of 2022, I was focused on making money. Right, making money, getting to the bag, trying to figure out how you know we can get out of financial debt, child, and just 
it was a lot, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, I have to get something because this unemployment is not going to be forever. Like, I can't be out here door dashing full time. You know, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I have other things I'm trying to do. Like, I need to figure out a way. The beginning of 2023, my husband and I decided to do a Daniel fast. It, it's a spiritual fast where for 21 days or 10 days, you're fasting from meat, dairy, sugar, yeast, you know, you're fasting and then you're praying three times a day and your your goal, number one goal is to build your a relationship stronger with God and then to, you know, bring things to him, bring him into, you know, intercession and ask him or tell him what it is that you need. Although he already knows, this is your time to talk to him, to let him know what it is that you need and what areas of your life you really need, you're struggling with and you need help with. And so my husband and I did it together. Um, I'm not going to go into everything that we fasted for. Um, but for me personally, I will say that I was definitely fasting for one of the things was for guidance on just direction as far as what I'm supposed to be doing to make money. I know that I'm on this earth for a reason like everybody else, but I always knew that God had big things and big plans for me. I always knew that, but I didn't know what. Me and my husband never planned for us to um, be living on one income. So when I lost my job and I lost a big chunk of my income, that hurt, that hurt us. We didn't have a plan. And so this happening has really changed a lot about the way we look at money, the way we manage money, the way we steward money. January is when we decided to do the fast. And so towards the end of the fast, you know, God worked in mysterious ways. He blessed me, but it wasn't with a big check. It was with bringing me to course careers. And so let me go ahead and get into that because I know that's why some of you are here. I was in the house and my daughter had lost her charger to her, her beats. She had lost her charger. I called my husband. I'm like, I don't know what kind of charger goes to this. You know, just really quick. I'm like, I don't know what kind of charger goes to this. What am I supposed to do? Like, wh where is the charger? Y'all, listen, I am not technically inclined Okay, that's what I told him. I'm like, I'm not technically inclined. I don't, I know what the charger looks like, but I might not know the name of it. And so I literally said, I'm not a technical person. I said this out of my mouth. So then later that day, like not even two hours later, like literally within a couple of hours, I was on my laptop and the video of um, AO, if you're not familiar with him, Anthony O'Neill, a video with him popped up and it was with him and four of um, the course career students that had, you know, graduated or, you know, took their certifications and everything. And they were talking about how it changed their life. And so I didn't even put correlate that this was tech. I just was listening to what they were talking about, listening to the stories. And so I'm like, oh, okay, well, this seems interesting, but I don't know why I'm watching it because this is not something that I'm, I'm interested in. And so they kept referencing the video that they saw with um, Anthony and Cyrus. And so I said, okay, well, let me go look at that video because they done mentioned this like 12 times. Let me go mention. So, I mean, let me go look at the video. And so I pulled it up, looked at that video. By the end of that video, I was sold. I'm like, okay, let me go to this website because I need to go and see what's going on here. I sent it to my husband and I'm like, I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like God is directing me here. And so I went to the video. Mind you, I'm still in the fast. This is the day before the last day of the fast. And so I go to Course Careers website I look at the free, they have like a free um, course, but it's like really quick. It's, 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 I think 30 minutes, no, no less than an hour. And so, or no more than an hour, should I say. And so I looked at that and I was like, by the end of that, I'm like, I'm sold. <laughs> like I'm sold on this. And so I took a minute and I said, you know what? Let me, let me regroup. Cause I'm getting excited. I was really excited. And I said, let me pray because remember all of 2022 girl, you were so focused on making the money get into the bag. You didn't bring God into that nowhere. So I said, let me pray. And I prayed on it. And I'm like, Lord, if this is what you have for me, if this is your will for my life, then, you know, let it be magnified. Let me know that this is for me. And y'all, I'm telling you, I knew that God had directed me here. And during my prayer is when I realized, I was like, whoa, just two hours ago, I was literally said out of my mouth, I'm not technically inclined. Like I'm not a technical person. And so during my prayer, I said that and I was like, oh my gosh, like, God, you are just showing out. Like I went from in a matter of a couple of hours saying I'm not technically inclined or I'm not a technical person to now I'm about to take a course on how to enter into tech and break into the tech industry. Wait, what? 
what? Oh, what are you saying? Hold on, wait a minute. Because something not right. Uh-uh, uh-uh. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is crazy. And so I knew it was God. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be obedient and do it. And so that's what I did, you guys. And um, also, I'm on a time crunch. So when I signed up for this, I, I just knew that I had to get this done because also being transparent. So the, at the time of this recording, it's February 24th, 2023. And the end of March will be the, the last unemployment paycheck that I will be getting. And um, I will and I will also not be getting food stamps anymore because um, God told me, which is crazy. But during the first week of my Daniel fast, God said to me, do not recertify for your food stamps. And he said that the second day. And so I was like, okay, wait. how? Because if you're not familiar, basically you apply for food stamps or whatever your assistance is from the government. And then you have to recertify like every year or mid-research, whatever it's called. You have to recertify every year to continue getting it. It's not like you sign up once and you get it for life. You have to continue proving that you need it. And so I was, I have to do that in March. Like literally I have to do that. And if you don't, they just terminate it and you get nothing. So if, and so if I don't do that, like if I don't cert recertify, then April, I will no longer be getting anything. So the f second day of my Daniel fast, God was like, you are not, you're not, you don't need that. Rely on only me. And I'm telling you this very clear. I heard him tell me, do not recertify for your food stamps. Rely on only me. And so that was the second day. I thought about it and I was like, okay, okay, okay. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Okay. And then, cause you know, like it's, it's, you have to really rely on him. And so a couple of days later in the first week of my Daniel fast, he said it again. I was looking at a sermon and it, I can't remember who the pastor was, but it was basically, um, it's, it referenced something like rely on God. It was like, don't worry about where this is coming from, rely on God. And I'm like, that's God telling me, like, he, he's basically doubling down, like, don't recertify. And so after the first week, I already knew that at the end of March, I wasn't going to be getting those food stamps. I talked to my husband about it and he's like, yeah, if that's what you feel God said, then that's what we're going to do. And so... I already knew that <laughs> I wasn't going to be getting food stamps. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to have some other type of supplemental income. And then at the, also at the end of March, my unemployment is running out. I will not be able to recertify. I was getting unemployment for a year and a half almost. So it's like, that's it. Your money's gone. You're done. <laughs> you know, like they're like, okay, baby, did you get a job yet? What are you doing? And so by the end of March, I will literally be having zero income, zero anything that's coming in for me. Unless I go out and dash or make odds and ends. And so I'm on a time crunch. So I, when I came to Course Careers and I saw people like finishing their course, it was one gentleman, I can't remember his name. And he basically was talking about how he finished a course in 29 days. And then seven days after that, he um, had just signed a contract with his company for I think it was 75000 or something. I can't remember. But yeah, salary. And I'm like, why not me? You know what I mean? Like some people finished in three months. Some people finished in less time. I'm on a time crunch. I'm not working. So I can literally work on this course for like eight hours a day. Like as if I'm at work if I want to and even more. So that's what I did. So you guys, I am on, this is day uh, seven of my course. And I'm on the last module or the last section of the course. And yeah, I and I'm going to do another video on like how I was able to get through the course this fast because there are three books you have to read. And so I'll, I'm just going to explain to you guys how I was able to get through all three of those books, do all the courses and get through the actual course. Now, I have not taken my final exam. I am going to give myself a few days to study, like just really go go ham and study. And then, um, you know, sometime next week I should be, you know, posting my video on LinkedIn, you know, basically or my picture on LinkedIn saying that I finished the course. But I wanted to make this video because for several reasons, one of them is mainly because I felt God put it on my heart. When it comes to content creation, I have analysis paralysis, y'all. Like I, it takes me a very long time to get to the point where I'm in front of the camera. I write a lot of notes. So I'm doing research. I'm like, okay, this is what I can do. I write my schedule out or how I'm going to be recording my videos. And when it comes time to actually sit in front of the camera and press record, I freeze and I pause. And that has been a, a very big issue as to why, you know, I have not started my content creating. 
And so I said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it because God, God works in mysterious ways, y'all. Like I knew that I was going to be able to reach people and touch people in some kind of way. I didn't know how. I eventually knew that I was going to end up here, but I didn't know what I would be talking about and what, you know, the basis or the nature of my channel would be. And so I just said, you know what? This is what it is. God is, has directed me here. And literally five minutes, you guys, before I sat down, I came up with the name Technically Blessed. Um, I Listen, it took me like two days. I was thinking of names and I couldn't come up with anything. Like, I couldn't come up with anything. And I'm washing my face, getting myself prepared for the video. And <laughs> I literally just laughed because I'm like... God, you are you like God is crazy, y'all, but in a good way. And just like washing my face randomly, not even thinking about it, it just came to me like technically blessed. And I was like, what? What? Technically blessed? Okay. All right. Okay. I see. So, you know, that's what it is. And here we are. So, um, Again, several reasons that I started the channel. One is so that I can reach people, you know, whatever, however God is moving through me, I feel like I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be on this platform and you guys are supposed to be watching me. And so if you're watching this, it's for a reason, you know, whether that's to get into tech, whether it's to, you know, have you do the Daniel fast, maybe you've been thinking about it and I mentioned it, whatever the reason is, I feel like you're here watching this video for a reason. So that's, you know, another, that's, you know, the main reason why I started. And then also number two is so I can hold myself accountable because I want you guys to come along with me on the journey um, because I'm just in the beginning phases, you guys. I have not passed the course yet. I have not, or the exam yet. I have not applied for any jobs yet. Like I want you guys to see real raw. So when it happens, I want y'all to follow me along my journey because baby, I'm going from food stamps to making millions. I promise you that in this video, this is where I'm a reference back to. And I don't know how much time, but I will have this video to reference back to. And you guys will, you're hearing from me first. Okay. From food stamps to millions. I don't know in what amount of time, but God is going to get me there y'all. And so my goal is just to get my family out of financial debt to help my mom as as you know so many people want to do but I want to move my mom um and I want to also give back I, I you know and I know that sounds like the the pageant answer but I want to give back because I'm I was always so focused on getting getting the money like I need to get the money I need to get the money and God is like yeah but you need to give back as well so that's something that I want to definitely focus on I have a few like things that are near and dear to my heart but um I just know God is placing me in a situation where I'll be able to do all the things you know what I mean like break that generational curse you know like we're, we're not we're not doing that my kids are not going to be struggling the way that I was financially definitely not you know and so this is something that I'm going to teach them and that they're going to be able to utilize and pass it down to their children like this is a generational thing that I'm changing here and so for all of you I definitely encourage you if you're interested in breaking into tech definitely click the link below um, I'll have it in the description I have a discount code if you guys want to use that to get $50 off. Definitely go ahead and do that, y'all. Um, also, I didn't even mention as well the course. I want to tell you guys the price, but I don't want to scare you away. But, y'all, like literally for the amount of money you're going to be making, and that's just making from your career that you start in tech. But doing content creation and everything else and all the other avenues that you're going to be able to generate money, the $499 is nothing. It's nothing. I know you're like, girl, you saying that. Let me tell you what I did. I took my tax money, okay? We got our taxes back, and I, I told my husband about this, and he's like, babe, I support you. And guess what? I took that money, and I went ahead, and I paid for my course because what's $500 to the, um, the amount of money that I'm about to be making in just several months? You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to make that several – I'm going to make that – plenty of times over. So I'm not worried about that. But I know how it is to be in that position where you're like, man, I would love to do it, but I'm not sure. They also have a payment plan, you guys. So you don't have to just drop the 500. If you use my code, it'll drop down to um, 450. So definitely, if you're interested, do that. So you can make $150. You can make that every other week until you're paid up. But for the little amount of money that you're paying, for the knowledge that I've already received, for the information, for the connections that I've already made, Y'all, this course is so bomb. Period. It's bomb. So I don't want to go on too long. I just wanted to come here again to 
just tell you guys my story. I, I hope that you guys will follow along on my journey, you know, to just hear more of my positivity and what, what God has in store for me. But definitely if you're interested, I'm going to link the, um, the link to the free course as well. And it just, it's like a really quick video of the course and what you're going to be doing and what you're going to learn. And that's what sold me along with the video from the previous, um, students. But you guys, it's really a community. It's a community. You're not in there by yourself. Like it's a community. It's a great feeling. And I'm just ready to see where God is leading me and where this, you know, where this journey is going to take me. So I hope that I was able to inspire you guys, you know, whether that was to break into tech or to take this course or even just to look into it. Um, also maybe to do the Daniel fast, you know, to, to strengthen your relationship with God, whatever the, um, whatever the influence was that I did have, you know, I pray that it hit you and that it hit you hard and that you're now going to take a step further into your future. So, um, with that being said, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.